Hello, I'm John Schwander, also known as the All Green Gamer. I'm D Will. And I'm Phil. And this is another episode of Kazav. Uh, first off, we have um, the storyboard for Act 1. Dexter, is that mostly done? Yep. Now, what can you tell us about that? Uh, mostly, it's just like an introduction to Kevin and Zyla. Him going through the te- well, them going through the temple, getting their powers, meeting Lexi, defending the jungle, and then going to the sea. And being right. the commander. And you were telling me you got hung up on the bonus level. Huh? You're hung up on the bonus level that we might do. Yes. I but other than that, we're all set. Yes. I have no clue how to connect a bonus story for Kevin and Zyla. Well, where we're standing now, I think we'll just go with uh, ignoring the bonus level, work on Act 2, and it'll be one of those things we'll come back to if we can. Um... I don't know, maybe it'd just be like a side mission, maybe some fluff or lore could be, or just some random, like, bandits they run into. Yeah. Doesn't really need to connect, but, you know, that's something we can come back to. Gotcha. If there is going to be something, it's not going to be bandits. Not going to be bandits? No. Bandits suck. (laughs) Maybe Heen Village. Maybe. I think that'd be too early, but... Yeah. I agree, it would be a bit early, but... Yeah. Thought it's a chance. Or a consideration. Anything, uh... You feel like you want to add to the... Story before we... Sort of, like, finalize it? We'll review it, but, uh... Is there anything you still want to work on? For Act 1? Uh, maybe just explaining what the mission is at the very end, but that won't take that long. Alright. The mission for stopping the big bad. Yeah. Which still needs a name. Yeah, um... What did we come up with last time? I don't think we got... Technically, anything. Well, we said name, and you said you were thinking that name when it was me and you talking um, a few weeks back. I think it was like Steve or something. Ugh. Really? I don't know. <laughs> Apparently, it wasn't Steve. Uh, I'll have to go back and listen to it. But uh, so, did you think you got across what's happening? And why it's happening, just not the part about what they have to do. Yeah. Okay. And like I said, we'll review it and give you some feedback and all that, but must I consider this done. And we have Phil, you have the AI more uh, ironed out. Yeah, the AI is basically functional. Mm hmm. The, and this is just the enemy AI, not just, the boss. Just the enemy AI, yeah. Mm-hmm. They, they should work. I haven't tested them completely. But just playing through the levels with them on should iron out any kinks if they exist. But all, right. that, all three modes should be implemented. Now when they hit the player, um, what are they currently doing? Uh, right now they just do 10 damage and then have a cooldown for a couple seconds. But okay. both of those numbers are easily changeable. Does the player get knocked back at all or do they just stand still and take damage? They just get stuck together and keep taking damage <laughs> until the player <laughs> moves. Uh. But that's Nick knockback's easy too. Does anything happen when the player is out of life? Um, no, he can take negative health, so... 
Okay. <laughs> He's a tank. <laughs> He's the unkillable. Unkillable, yes. And he has no way to retaliate, right? No way to retaliate yet. Alright, so it's just avoiding at this point. Uh-huh. Alright. Now you were talking a bit about the, um, the mixer and how we would get around that with, uh, um, I just for, kind like, of trigger points. For the mixer, I said the hunter class doesn't really need to exist. The mixer can do it mm -hmm. entirely. So those are con combined right now. Okay. So the hunter is just a mixer, right? Except without this, the points it's, that that patrols. Yeah. Okay. Kind of like how a square is a rectangle. Special kind of rectangle. Yeah. Just lowering the class count to two. <laughs> uh, we have the... Boss AI is next in line. Does that seem like something that would, uh... Pose a problem with what's written? About like jumping off screen and then debris falling. It shouldn't be. It would be its own independent AI of the other two, so mm -hmm. don't need to worry about incorporating them together. Alrighty. It's more just as long as we have all its moves finalized. I should be able to write those all quickly. Alright, the boss moves for the uh, Mecha Bullfrog should be in a final state unless um, you look through it and you see something that needs more clarity or something that might be a problem program wise then let me know okay and speaking of the GDD I did not get to the overworld yet but um, I'll have that by Wednesday at the latest uh, it shouldn't take too long really it's just playing out the points of how we're going to go from Act 1 to Act 2 and we, I really want to keep the overworld, but it might just be a story jump with what we have right now. Yeah. And then that we have a, let's see, we have to create some concepts for the second level. Um, same as last time, two levels, three minutes each, and then we'll... Uh, Q&A those levels between ourselves the following week and then that can be used to build level 2 or to see how things play out especially since we have the AI to play around with mm. so I'll give us some testing and some ideas yeah other than that how comfortable do you guys feel with the QA test coming up on the 20th where we let people on campus play the game as it is. Um so different. Mm hmm I think the difficult part might be just deploying it. Like getting them to play of the game? Like having the way they can play? Just getting it user friendly. Yeah. So you don't need a huge long instruction book to tell you how to get started. So now this QA test is only uh, level one and stands, so it'll be a quick one. But what do you think of uh, how their reactions will be? No idea. <laughs> I'm always wanting for the feedback, but uh, I think getting over the graphics is going to be a big part of the QA. Yeah. And that uh, we'll hopefully have combat nailed out by the 20th. Mm -hmm. So hopefully it should still be enjoyable, even if it doesn't look too pretty. <laughs> yeah, combat shouldn't be too bad. Mm-hmm. It's more just all the animations are going to be the tricky yeah. part. 
Now, I think I went over this last week, or not the week before, but uh, how do we feel about having just Xylo as the only weapon throughout the entire game? I can work with that. I think that would work. I mean, we are going for a platformer, so we don't need a diverse weapon set. Mm hmm. That's cool with me. Alrighty. We can have Xylo with some more spotlight yeah. time. Yep. Oh. Well, I already have him in the last spotlight. For the story, at least. Yeah, but I do believe Dexter was writing something about um, Xylo would get his own set of power ups to do something different, and then we'll still try to stick with that. Mm hmm. That works. Sounds good. Today, a little time, maybe. That can help us get a level or two extra. Yeah. Not entirely looking forward to that QA test, but it'll it'll be a good experience. Yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Well, I hate to cut it short, but we've been having really uh, short meetings lately, but we're starting to get things done. That's true. And we're getting more efficient with our time. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's ironed out. We just gotta build, get the get work done. On that note, this is Project Kazab signing off.